Welcome to WebStar Plus. Write a function that finds the largest sum of any of its subarrays or find maximum subarray sum solution in JavaScript. The input is an array of numbers. The task is to find the contiguous subarray of array with the maximal sum of items. Let me explain. For this array, we have to calculate all possible subsums. Here is how we take every element and calculate sums of all subarrays starting from it. Starting from minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 plus 2, minus 1 plus 2 plus 3, minus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus minus 9, minus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus minus 9 plus 11. And here is the output. Similarly, starting from 2, 2, 2 plus 3, 2 plus 3 plus minus 9, 2 plus 3 plus minus 9 plus 11. And here are the results. Similarly, starting from 3, 3 plus minus 9, 3 plus minus 9 plus 11. Starting from minus 9 and starting from 11. So in the result, which number is greater than all of these? 11, right? At the end, 11 is the largest number in array. So result should be 11 for this array. And if the array only contains negative numbers, the function should return 0 as the largest sum of any of its subarrays. Okay, so this is what we have to do in JavaScript for this array. And in this video, we will look into that. But before that, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I'm bringing similar content on this topic. Okay. Define a function called getMaxSubSum, which takes an array as its input. MaxSum, CurrentSum. Use a variable maxsum initialized to 0, and a variable CurrentSum initialized to 0. Iterate through the array using a for loop, adding each element to the current sum and compare it to max sum at each iteration. If current sum is greater than max sum, update max sum to the value of current sum. If current sum is less than zero, reset current sum to zero. After the loop finishes, return the final value of max sum. Call the function with the array as its input and the function will return the maximum sum of a subarray in the input array. Okay, there is another slightly different approach of doing it using nested for loops. Define a function called get max subsum which takes an array as its input. Use a variable max sum initialized to zero. Start the outer for loop at the first index of the input array and iterate through each element. Initialize a variable named as sum fixed start and initialize it to zero. Start the inner for loop at the current index of the outer loop and go through each element of the array. Create a subarray that starts at the current index of the outer loop and continues to the end of input array. For each subarray, sum up the elements in inner loop and assign it to variable sum fixed start. Then compare sum fixed start with the max sum and assign the maximum value to max sum. After both loops finish, return the final value of max sum. Call the function with the array as its input and the function will return the maximum sum of a subarray in the input array. And this is how we find maximum subarray sum solution in JavaScript. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.